Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modeler. My name is Ral, and here I'm working on my 71 Dodge Demon. I've been wanting to get on this kit for a little while now, as uh, you know, of course, it's uh, uh, one of my favorites and it's an interesting car. And you know, the kits haven't been around, even though I've got a couple of resin ones, I somehow never uh, got those finished, but I will. But this one being pretty straightforward and easy, and everything's fitting really well, so. Really happy with this kit. And uh, this is sponsored by Hobby Nut Models. And uh, I believe he got some more of these in, but he may have been sold out again um, as they went pretty quickly. And I checked and showed like one um, just the other day. So whether or not he still got it. But I know it's been a little frustrating. Those of you guys who want to get your hands on this kit and they're trickling out. So hopefully, you know, there's a whole bunch out there soon. Um, but I know that can get frustrating. But, you know, I got to working on mine. So. I'm enjoying it, so there's a couple of things I've been doing with it and tweaking it, but for the most part, I'm building it right out of the box, but um, yeah, I'm enjoying this one. So uh, we'll continue, and I'll show you what I'm doing and what I've done. Uh, it's pretty straightforward, low parts count, but goes together pretty easily so far, and just uh, a couple of things I'm messing with, but uh, first, here's the 340 engine, and uh, a little surprise for me uh, on this one as I painted this one uh, hemi orange is uh, whatever's inside this box whatever coating this is um, managed to stick to my oil pan so even though I thought this was dry and put it in here uh, to my surprise it stuck to the pan and it came off so I think that'll polish out it's kind of surprised but I can put another coat on it too but kind of interesting that you know that's what's in here and you can see there's not a whole lot of parts you know I mentioned a low parts count in there and there's some parts in here I'm not going to be using, like the roll cage, the wheel spacers. Um, so there's like five or six parts in there that I'm not using, ladder bars. But, uh, you know, this thing's going to go together pretty quickly. But um, having some fun with this. But here's the 340 engine, and it's painted a uh, hemi orange, which you know, there's a lot of questions on what color a 340 engine is. So I figured I would just go over it real quick anyway. Um, as the 340 was produced from 68 through 73 and replaced by the 360 and 74. So for this car, 71 Demon, this is the appropriate color, but it was only in this color for two years, 70 and 71. Uh, 72 and 73 were uh, a blue color, which is kind of a dark blue color. Now, um, where the biggest controversy comes with the 340 is actually 69 models. 68, they were red, and 69, they became turquoise. So 68s are all red. So some 69s supposedly came with uh, red motors. Um, most of them came with the turquoise motors. And in 70, they switched them all to orange. So supposedly the 70 cars, all of them are painted orange, but some of them have pulled the tranny off and found um, turquoise paint in the bell housing. And some say that a lot of the leftover uh, 69s were painted orange. But even uh, 69 uh, cars that had them, a lot of people painted them orange, restoring them because they thought they were like the high performance big blocks where they were also uh, hemi orange, but uh, the rules are different. So it's kind of um, confusing. So um, that's the gist of it. And, you know, it's kind of cool, but you know, I'm going to paint this and get this ready now. When it comes to painting the car, I chose to go with this color, which is a one-year only color. This color was only available from Dodge and Plymouth in uh, 71. Now out of their uh, wild colors, this one is kind of a strange one. Um, of course, it's Citron Yellow, um, also sometimes referred to as Citron Green, but its famous number name is Curious Yellow, which is uh, the Plymouth name. Cause it's really not yellow as uh, hopefully the camera's catching this it's green um and it's a light green but here's the chassis painted i got the chassis all done the engine compartment done and you can see i'm just trying to go the entire chassis kind of the over restored look which i like um but it also brings out some of the details and will also hide some of the simplicity of this chassis by detail painting some of these things which uh you know i kind of want to show also just because it's got a low parts count doesn't mean you can't detail it and go nice, but this chassis is so well fitting into the inside of this that it snaps right in. And 
I've done um, the body work. There was just a couple of seams and some lines here. I've done the body work. There's no putty on this. Um, drilled the holes for the spoiler and, you know, got it all ready. But the whole inside, I've shot the inside. Now the headliner is going to be black, but I shot the inside because when this is in there, you're going to see portions of in here. So, and I kind of like to just make sure the details are there. Um, didn't fix this mark right here as uh, it'll be hidden by the interior and everything. And there's a dimple there for the mirror, but the outside is still primed. I haven't uh, shot this yet. And that'll be in my next round of painting. But kind of one of the reasons is um, the hood. I need to paint the underside of the hood, but I got some deep scratches in the primer in here where it wasn't completely dried yet. So I need to get another layer of primer on this, finish the bodywork. but I drilled all the holes for the scoops, which I wanted to have the scoops on here, which is an option on the 340 Demon. And I believe it is only an option on the 340 Demon. If you had a non 340 Demon, I believe the scoops were not available. But uh, from what I was reading, if you got the scoops, you got the hood blackout um, decal treatment, which was actually paint. What I've been trying to research is, can you get it deleted? Because I've seen cars where these scoops are painted body color. But according to what I'm seeing in reference information and on the Hamtrak uh, side as far as production stuff, it mentions that the stripes and the scoops were a package. So if you order the scoops, they came with the stripes. But there's some controversy on the stripes. As we've talked about in the decals, these to me are too far apart. But there are a bunch of cars that have these stripes on them. Um, but the ones I like better are much closer together and they're about uh, less than a two inch gap. I think it's a one and three quarter inch gap between the stripes. That's the one I'm familiar with and I see most of the time and that's what I want to replicate. So this one is just a little too far apart. But they do have stencils to do these stripes and maybe later stripes came with this way. Now, interesting is some of the early cars did not have a stripe going around the stripes. It was two big ones that were just real close together, but no outlining stripe. There's a number of cars that way and a number of cars with the outlining stripe, but are much close together and these stripes are bigger. That's the one I want to do. Um, but, you know, I really don't want to use this particular one. But I can kind of understand now why it has this stripe. And I've seen this stripe on some cars. But I don't know if there was a production break or timeline with that. But I want to keep the black stripes on this because this color is just so uh, strange. Um, and a little too much of it in one shot. So I shot the, the bottom of the interior because it is visible when you, you know, have it in there. But also the firewall. I shot the inside of the firewall because this... This matches up here and you can kind of see in it. So I decided to uh, spray that whole section of it. I need to spray this firewall side, but I'll do that when I spray the rest of this stuff because I need to do the front side of this and the other side of the radiator. So I've shot one side of all of it, but not the other side of it. I got you know some areas still to work on, but I'm doing it in stages so you can kind of see how I'm doing it. So. I'll black all of this out um, because it's all black interior. So it's going to be an easygoing build and a fun build. Oh, and here is the spoiler that MPC gives you with the two mounting pins. And I decided I was going to use the one that's in the 71 Duster 340 um, or 71 uh, Charger RT. I'm not 100% sure which particular kit this is, but this is a correct 71 spoiler as far as Mopar rear wings go or go wings as they called them so you can see and this is more like a 70 go wing instead of a 71 so uh hoping it's focusing i think it is so i decided i was going to use this one and since they're both pretty much the same size one looks a little smaller but on the car so i drilled holes to go along with it but once it's on the car if it doesn't fall off got an appropriate look to it not too big um kind of small but gives me the the look i want the rake i want and whatnot and then for the mounting holes you can see there's the original holes and then 
where I drilled the new ones right smack in the middle. Just, just happened to line up. And I was playing with these and just seeing where they would go if I went like this. So pretty happy with the way it came out. And I think this spoiler is going to look a lot better than this one. But I can always switch them because if I drill the new holes, this one will cover those holes. So, but not the other way around. So anyway, um, this will get the semi-gloss black treatment. And I'll see how it, how it all works out. But I want to show you this and show you the color. And hopefully it's coming out this color green, this really light lime green, non-metallic-y color. You know, curious yellow. So, or citron yellow. Because that's how it's uh, spelled on here and everything. But kind of a, a fun color and definitely different. Not a color I've done, which is one of the reasons why I wanted to do that. And I originally had it for one of the 71 Kudas. Um, but it's been sitting for a long time. But decided I'm putting it on this one. So you guys, thank you for tuning in, subscribing, and all your comments. I really do appreciate it. And you guys, you have a wonderful weekend, and I'll see you next time.